Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. Um, I am adding this onto the front of my video so you'll see another video where I say hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. But anyways, um, I forgot to put this part on and Arteza is doing something really cool in August so I'm going to read to you real quick what they're doing. Um, in August, six nominees will have the chance to win attractive prizes from Arteza, gift cards for the products, brand, merch, and early access to Arteza's new launches. One lucky winner will be nominated the Golden Artist of Arteza and will receive the grand prize, which is a year-long collaboration with Arteza that includes um, the collaboration and gift cards every month for the whole year. So that's really awesome. So, in order to participate, to be part of the Arteza Awards 2020, you need to join under the form on our website uh, with your email and Instagram ID. You need to create an artwork with Arteza products, and you need to post it on your Instagram under hashtag Arteza Awards. And let me put this up here just so you can see. See? Let me come in closer. Oh. Hashtag Arteza Awards. Okay. Tagging at Arteza Official. Okay. The entry per period is 8 1 through 8 24. And it says, please learn more about the conditions on our website. And I will put all these links in my description box below along with what you need to do. So you can just go there and see that. Um, they will judge, you know, who wins, and then on August 31st, the winners will be announced during the live stream. And it says there are no geographic age or other limits or special art experience. Everyone is welcome to participate. Please share this opportunity. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think that's really awesome that they're doing that. And like I said, all the information will be in the description box below this video and I will be starting my video now. Thank you so much. Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat and I'm here today for a little show and tell and review of this these two Arteza products. Um, this is the 24 Unique Color Permanent Washer and Dryer Safe Non-Toxic Fabric Colors um, by Arteza. So um, they're safe to wash and dry and um, iron and all that but anyways what I was gonna say is we're not gonna use them in a way that they're gonna be washed so to me it's not that big of a deal but it is fabric paint so it's different than just regular acrylic paint and we'll open that up in just a minute and then I also got um, permanent fabric markers and there's six of them and they're all black but I'll show you what they look like so one tip is like that uh, chiseled edge that's much larger. And then on the other end, we have more of the pointed, you know, regular marker edge. And these are um, for fabric, so they can be washed and all that. So it's a permanent coloration. It's not temporary. So let's open these up. It shows you all the colors. There's 24. And we are going to do a project for our fall um, journal, so I'm not too off track here. I was going to wait to do this until I was done with um, that journal, but I... I thought of something I wanted to do so this will work perfect for it. So we have these uh, bottles that are two full ounces each and this particular one is silver so there's some uh, metallics, um, yellow ochre which we probably will use, um, thalo blue, I never know how to say that, <laughs> uh, amethyst purple, sky blue. There's kind of these brights, the fluorescent orange, and there's uh, fluorescent yellow. I'm going to try to kind of put all those together. What's this one? Orange red, so I'm going to keep that one out. This one is light gold. I'm going to keep that one out. 
I already talked about that one. We have Space Black. Titanium White. A Bumblebee Yellow. Espresso Brown. I'm going to keep that one out. This is Thalo Green. Um, Forest Green. Fluorescent Peach. So I'm going to keep that here with these fluorescents. Eggplant Purple. And you could do swatches of these too, which would be really smart on fabric so you could see, you know, what they're going to look like. I'm going to keep that out. That's wine red. This one is Egyptian blue. I don't know why I'm holding the bumblebee yellow. <laughs> Aqua blue. <laughs> uh, burnt sienna. I'm going to keep that one out. This is true red. Very nice. Lime green. The true red up here. And fluorescent pink. So yeah, great colors. Great, great colors. So what we're going to do today, because I got everything ready already, already ready already, is we're going to work on some large uh, journaling tag or cards to go in those slanted pockets. So I've coffee dyed, um, this was just white, not white, kind of a cream colored cotton show you. It's just this kind of creamy color. And I um, put a little, spritzed it with tea, um, made one of the sprays that we did with the mica powder using just the gold. So I used the rubbing alcohol, the matte medium, two little spoons of this yellow gold color from Arteza in the mica powder. And a little bit, yeah, I, and then a little water. And I spritz that so it's all shimmery, and then I just put some drops of coffee, but you can see how the coffee, like, bled out like that. But can you guys, I don't know if you can see the sparkle on there. But it's all sparkly. So, um, I want to make journaling cards, but we're going to stamp them first. And I know I just did some stamping the other day, but... You know how it is when you get an idea and it's like, oh, well, I just did that, but this is going to be a little, <clears throat> a little bit different. Sorry, my throat is all of a sudden bugging me. I'm going to take a sip of tea real quick. I don't know why. <clears throat> Every time I turn on the camera, my throat has to get all weird. All right, and I'm going to use the same leaves that we used the other day because I like the size. I think that's a great size for kind of a, a background. And then I have a plate and some water. And I know I probably should use a different mat, but I think I'm okay. It's on this. So let's see what we got here. Okay, they are sealed. Because I want to shake them up a little bit. I think I'm going to put one more piece of paper under there, just to be safe. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this at a time on the plates, or plate, because I don't need a ton of every color. You know what, I'm going to open all these and then I'll be right back, sorry. <laughs> Okay, wow, back. I had paint, like you can still see, I washed it, but anyway, <laughs> I'm not bleeding, it's paint. <laughs> um, those little plastic tear top things are pain, but anyways, I mean, it's good they put them on so that in shipping you don't end up with paint everywhere, but it's just kind of not fun to get off of there. So we're going to use these again. And I'm just going to paint them. And I have a, a plate with a wet wipe that I think I'll set the leaves on after I put paint on them. So I'm going to just kind of mix up colors a little bit too because like this green is way brighter than I want it to be. So I want them to be fall colors more. So anyways, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a pretty good day. Just got a little st 
stuff done, which was nice. Was not feeling well. I mean, I still kind of have a headache, and I'm really glad I didn't I didn't go do that um, band thing today because <clears throat> I had a headache all night and. Um, I was worried about standing out in the sun, you know, watching the kids. I really don't think that they need as many of us as they've had anyway to just tell kids to, you know, stand apart. Because they were doing a really good job the other day when I was there. I mean, I get why we need to do it. I'm just saying, like, they were doing very well. So I don't think that they need a ton of us to stand there. But yeah, just was not feeling great. Do not like having headaches. Well, especially when, I mean, normally for me, when I um, take a Tylenol or whatever, you know, I, it goes away. But it just wasn't going away. All right, so we're going to try this. And I've not done very much um, fabric painting or stamping. I did do a little bit of it when I, I used to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and so um, I did a little during that time and I've done a lot of acrylic paint and stamps so I mean it's essentially the same thing it's just you know on fabric instead of something else. Okay and I am okay with the fact that it's not like 100% the entire leaf because I kind of like that look and especially because it's going to be a background I think it'll look really cool once it's done yeah I just thought this would be so fun to put on a <clears throat> large journaling card kind of like that one day when we made that um, it was a 3 by 5 card and I got that idea from Gail Agostinelli um, of putting the fabric over the 3x5 card and that turned out really cool so I thought maybe and I this is kind of the way I paint it's the way I paint when I do murals and everything <laughs> I just grab colors here and there so I'm not like doing anything specific that I can really tell you you know now do this or whatever um, I just pick up different colors and paint them on there you know however you like whatever colors you want to see in it and just trying to get that kind of fall leaf sort of feel. Let's see if I can get it this way. And I'm going to hang it off because I think that's okay too. Just like stamping anything, really. So, yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, I like that. That looks cool. So just a tiny bit more paint and it seemed to work a little bit better. Some of these leaves, I don't know like really what they are, so <laughs> we're just winging it. Okay, I'm going to get some of those browns with that green because that green is very green. And it helps, I think, to have a little more water. So I learned that from that first one. I mean, I like that speckled, sort of not fully done, but just saying you could add a little more water if you wanted it. Not too much yellow there. Because you know how the leaves, when they turn, they aren't. It isn't just instantaneous. They're one color and then they're the next color. They kind of go through stages. It's sort of like what I'm going for. Where to put that? Oh, I could put some gold. I didn't even think of that.
And these are um, Stampers Anonymous, the Tim Holtz collection, and it's called Falling Leaves. And I linked it in my Amazon links in the last time I used them, but I'll do it again this time. So let's do a little orangey. I really like how that one came out too. Maybe some gold with that. A lot of orange there. Sorry, I get concentrating. <laughs> think this would take a whole lot of concentration but We're not going to worry about the back because we're not going to see the back. It's going to get attached to that um, journaling card. So I'm not worried because <clears throat> it is it is going through this. But I could do this all day because I love fall and leaves and all that. I could just stamp these leaves in all different ways forever because I think that is so fun. Okay, I don't really want that darker color to come through the other direction. <clears throat> Let's try this one again. We get a little little bit more moisture on there I think it'll come through more But yeah, always remember when you're working with paint, I mean, I know this is pretty obvious, but don't think you have to <clears throat> have every color because you can always mix colors and get, you know, different looks. That one came out a little bit better. Sure, there I don't want it dripping or anything. Oh, I hope everybody's okay. That hurricane at first they were making it sound like, oh, you know, it's not going to be that horrible. I mean, I don't know a whole lot about hurricanes, I've never, I've always lived out west, and so we don't have that uh, problem, but. It sort of was sounding like it wasn't going to be too bad, and then, oh my gosh, it sounds like it got pretty intense last night. So I hope you're all safe and, you know, your families are safe and all that. Oh, it's so scary. I can't even imagine that and tornadoes. I know we get earthquakes, but I'll take an earthquake over that. It's just scary stuff. I should not have wiped that with that wipe. Those wipes get all over everything but yeah I just pray that everybody's okay because I know that they said six people died 
I'm always amazed when you watch the news and I know you know if you live there it's it's different or if you've grown up with it your whole life but and there's people like in the ocean <laughs> swimming and stuff I'm like I would be terrified I mean the ocean kind of freaks me out as it is just because like I said I've been out west my whole life and not on the coast or anything um, so I've only been to the ocean I don't know a handful of times not very often and whenever I'm around the ocean I'm just in awe I mean I just am completely blown away by it I just I'd be scared to death to be in that one it's pounding those waves so hard we did we went to Hawaii one a uh, year and um, everybody wanted to go snorkeling which is fine I like doing that kind of stuff but the beach that we got to the waves were just uh, pounding on the beach and I tried to go out in it but it was literally just pounding me down to the ocean floor and so I had to get out and just sit and watch them and then it started raining so I was just sitting under an umbrella in the rain <laughs> watching them out you know in the water because I could not do it it was just beating me down so I'm just always amazed when I see people out swimming <laughs> when there's going to be a hurricane it's like ah, I'd be scared to death I mean it's awesome that they're you know they feel safe to do that I just uh, I can't do it I'm only going to do part of this because I don't need the whole thing I'm a big chicken. Alright, so there is that. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to keep stamping on a few more and then I'll be back and um, kind of show you what they're going to look like. I'll be right back. Alright, hi, I'm back. So this one's all dry. And it's tiny wet right there, but for the most part it's dry. <laughs> And then I also did a tag shape. And so I'm going to use the um, fabric marker and do something similar to what I do um, when I do the watercolor images. Sorry, my nose itches. Um, I'm going to start on this one because if I mess it up, I'm kind of planning on covering this part down here anyway. I used that uh, stamp that had all the leaves smaller, and you can see they didn't come out really great. So I'm just going to kind of just test it on here because I think I'm going to cover this anyway. And I'm just doing rough lines kind of like I do when I watercolor. And I'm using the thinner side obviously rather than the wider chisel side. But I'm not, as you can see, going around every little nook and cranny in detail. I'm just kind of winging it. And you could do this on a t-shirt or, you know, like a canvas bag to carry. In fact, I dyed some canvas bags, these little ones, that I'm going to stamp, fabric stamp, and make some of those little hinge journals to go inside of these. So um, you could do stuff like that with it, too. So, yeah, there's really just loads of stuff you could do, and then you can kind of give the illusion of maybe the leaf lines in the middle that sort of thing sorry I know that this is probably really boring but um, I really love uh, doing like fabric painting stamping type stuff when you know like I said I did it when I was doing Stampin' Up. I haven't done tons of like shirts or you know that type of thing but okay so that's kind of what I'm thinking with the black if you're wondering what I'm doing with the black so I'm going to try it on one of these bigger leaves because I kind of like the way that looks it just gives it you know just a different maybe more artistic kind of flair and I'm not pushing down hard I'm not going around every line. I'm just very lightly like, you know, you can see some spots there's nothing. And that's on purpose. Like I'm I'm not trying to be perfect. And if I don't touch where the paint is, that's okay too.
it just gives another layer but you wouldn't have to do this at all you could totally just um, leave them the way they are because I think they look really cool like that too it's just an option so do what you like to do Not sure how to do. <laughs> this one's got lots of little. Can't believe it's already. Oh, that got a little wacky. It's all right. Um. It's already time for school to start. Can you guys believe it? It's just nuts. I mean, it felt like a really long time in some ways because the kids were out for so long. But in other ways, to me, well, let's see, I love it when my kids are home. You know, that's, I always hate it when the summer break ends because I like having them at home. But, um, yeah, it's just crazy that that went as fast as it did even though it was like months like five months or whatever craziness it was okay this one and those two end ones too a little bit but yeah it was just incredible my son hasn't gotten his English project finished that is one thing I am after him about because he had so long <laughs> to do it, but he, you know, they have to read a book, and of course it's nothing he's interested in. And he's been taking a programming class the whole time, too, and he's been making websites, <sighs> and um, which is really good. It's super good for practice and stuff for what he wants to do in college, but... Um, it's just you got to get that done because it's going to be due shortly. So, all right. So that's with without lines. So it's just a different look. It just depends on how you you know want it to look. So I'm going to put the lid on this, and then I'll show you kind of what I want to do with them. All right. Where did I put? I have the little bases to put those on over there. I buried them already in the ink. And these are just, you know, book pages that we've glued together. And I just am going to put it on here. And I'm thinking I'm going to use tacky glue. And I know um, if you like fabric tac you should probably use fabric tac I just do not, and I'm also going to do some stitching around it, so I'm not that worried about it. But yeah, use the adhesive that you like. I am not saying you have to do it the way I do it. That looks pretty good, though. <laughs> Avocado Beyond Chicken Sushi Roll. Uh, we've been eating um, Impossible burgers. You know, they're plant-based burgers instead of beef. But they taste like beef. It is the craziest thing ever. So if you see them like in the store and you've been wondering, they really do taste like beef. I mean, if you take a bite of a beef burger and then you take a bite of an Impossible burger, um, you're going to know the difference just you know because but like my husband can't eat beef because he has gout and it just aggravates it so sometimes you know if we really want a beef burger I'll make beef for the rest of us and do impossible burgers for him but I like the impossible burgers too they're super good 
it just a <laughs> just an aside <laughs> I don't know why but um yeah there it was because I turned it over and there was a burger on the other side but uh yeah super good I was shocked at how good it is because you know I've done the whole veggie burger thing and all that because when I worked in the hospital um a lot of times I didn't like what they were serving for food because the food at the hospital I worked in at that time was years ago was not very good and so I would usually get like grilled cheese but um sometimes I would get a burger burger but I didn't want to be eating burgers like all the time so um, I would sometimes get like a veggie burger and uh, those are not burgers I mean I don't mind them they're okay but um, they're not they're not burgers by any stretch of the imagination but uh, this is real close and this is hanging over over here but I don't care because I, I like the fray and all that so I'm just gonna let it hang over and then on the other side, we're going to put something we can write on. So let's put some of these. Straw paper, couldn't think of the word. And again, that's from Rachel at Roxy Creations. So if you're looking for that, I don't think you can get it in the States, but I could be wrong. I just, I haven't ever found it anywhere but Rachel so and I'm sure there's other sellers you know like from Italy or that area that have it oh I need to make this a little bigger I almost forgot I got to do this side over here but uh, yeah Rachel is the one that I get it from it straight huh it's about like yay big but if you can get it somewhere else let me know and I can tell people this is not straight at all oh it is straight it just doesn't look straight tiny bit off but not a lot But yeah, if there's a reason like you either don't like beef or, well, if you don't like beef, then you probably still won't like the Impossible Burger. That's, that is true because it tastes very similar and the um, texture is similar, very similar. So, um, and it's kind of hard to find too, but I think eventually it'll be more readily available. I know there's another company and I can't think of what it's called right now and I haven't tried theirs. But um, that's making it now too. So eventually, I think the price will go down once there's more competition going on for it. But I mean, every once in a while, I just want a real burger for sure. But not the best for you so it's kind of nice to have an alternative Okay, so I don't really know what to do with the front. <laughs> I like it just the way it is, but we want to put a little something on there, I think. But I really like the way that is looking myself. I hope you guys like it. Let's see here. I'm just getting this folded over, and then I need to find my junk. 
see if we can figure out something we might want to put on there. And I had some things out. And then I cleaned everything up and now I can't find anything. See, that's the problem. When I'm doing it in the middle of a journal, I generally just leave everything out. Because otherwise, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I might use that image from Artie Mays. And then there's one from Denise as well. So I've got those two options, those two ladies. Let me get her torn out. And I just don't really want all the border around her. I'm not, I mean, that fancy one is good, but I don't need all the other part. And I don't want to cover this entirely either. I really like that red leaf. <laughs> See, this is always the problem when I do these projects. <laughs> uh, let me try this one and see. I think with her I can take most of this off. I'm going to try to get it straight. It's at a, at a slant, so... It throws me off when it's like that because then I try to rip it like at that same slant. And I'm thinking if you sew around, oh, I was going to do that before I added the back. Yeah, I could still sew around it like faux, a faux sew. I don't know. It's throwing me off a little with the fabric, I'm, I'm going to say. Just because I'm not used to that. But I like it. Oh, I did this too. I was going to show you guys. I did um, the coffee tea staining and then that same gold glitter spray from the mica. And then I just stamped it with a bunch of little leaves, just with ink. I didn't use paint on that, but that's going to be the tie closure for the journal. Do a piece of this. Yeah, I'm going to do a piece of that. I kind of cut it all wacky because I don't want it straight, you know. I don't want us just to take a little bit more of that off. Hmm. that kind of covered. It's not as bad though now that the black outline is on there. Let me do some sewing and I'll be back because I got to think about this. <laughs> I just have never done one with that kind of background so hold on just a second. Okay, so what I figured out is um, I did a stitch around this with some lace behind and then I just hung one of my little um, price tag tags off on a little tiny 
uh, safety pin that I had, and I've had those ever since I did scrapbooking, so I'm not really sure exactly if you can get them anymore. I'm sure you can. I just don't know where. And then I just added a little tab topper up there, and that's all I'm going to do, I think, because I kind of just really like um, the look of it. So if I can get the lid off the glue. We'll put this on here. But I am definitely liking the look of that fabric paint and it's a, a nice fabric paint because like I said I have done a little bit with um, when I did Stampin' Up and I remember it not um, being quite as good on the coverage as that is I mean I know that it's that's kind of the way those stamps are though they're not meant to be a solid solid color so but I just really like it now that it's dry I can tell that if you did paint like a t-shirt or something like that I think it would end up looking pretty good so, that one's good, except I will stitch around it. And then let's do one of the tags. You can find what I did with it. See, I set stuff out of the way, and then I set stuff on top of it. So I'll take this one. And I'm going to take one sheet of this, only one, because um, I'll be backing that with something else. I mean, I guess it's technically the same as this, but... I'll just do one. One will be good. So we need to tear it. Eh, I'm going to do two because it's this old book page. <laughs> Sorry, lied. I'm all over the place. So let's save that one. I don't know what I was thinking earlier. I was thinking just one, but this is kind of fragile book page. So we'll go ahead and do two together. Tear it down to the size we want, roughly, and it doesn't have to be perfect because as you saw I had that hanging over and whatever. Oh, I didn't go around that with the black either. I think I will do that because I really like the way that looks. But if you like it without, then, you know, just do it that way. Actually turn this around so that that's where... I'm tearing off since I tore it crooked there. And it will tear, as you can see, right under the fabric without a problem. my decal scissors, sorry about my arm, kind of get this a little bit straighter. I really like that look, I think it looks cool. The cool part is you could like safety pin, you know, directly onto the fabric or, I don't know, I think you could do all kinds of cool stuff. job with that, did I? <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to wait to back it this time in case I want to stitch something on there. A little fuzzy stuck everywhere. Got little pieces of paper.
And if you don't like sewing, you don't have to sew this. I mean, it's not like um, something that has to be done. I'll wait to ink the back until I know what I'm going to do. Okay, what can we put on this one? Oh, let's do the black around it. So really, you know, technically you could do this just with any marker and like acrylic paint because it's not getting washed. But um, because Arteza was so kind to send me the fabric paint, I just wanted to, you can't really see that, but that's how it's supposed to be, <laughs> um, you know, use it for a journaling purpose because that's, you know, this is what we do. Yeah, at first I couldn't decide if I liked it with the black, but I really kind of like it better. I think that looks cool. And again, you're not going for tracing every single line perfectly. skip spaces and what okay there's that and then I'm not sure what I want to put up at the top um it's going to get stitched I'm not going to poke a hole because that would be hard to do with anything that I have, I'm sure. Oh, I could use the um, eyelet setter thing, but I don't really want to do that. I'm trying to think of what fabric I want up at the top, up here. I'm kind of wondering if I want a piece of this one. I just don't think it goes great with that. Maybe we'll just use lace. This is a piece of the one that I colored with the mica. And let's go all the way to the end because I'm not sure exactly where I want to cut it. Figure out what we're going to put on here. Just going through all this. I think these little flags might be cute. This is cute. Thanksgiving greeting. That's from Denise's. Did she? Oh, I had those. That's cute. did this on a different kind of paper. Kind of gets lost. This one is probably better. What are these? Kind of just like that. Okay. I'm going to use one of those. 
but I'm going to punch the little holes. See how there's these little holes right here? That's, yeah, it's probably this size. Because I don't want them white. all those got stuck on there and I don't want to see the white that's why I punched them out to begin with <laughs> Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Get some ink on that young man there. heard you guys. Thank you for yelling loudly. <laughs> wow, I'm such a dang bat. It's like it's missing something. <laughs> Duh. dry white thing here. Okay. 
All right, I think that's good. And then we'll put the lace up there. I'll go stitch these real quick and I'll be right back. Oh, you know what we need to do though, before I do that. And I didn't even end up sewing anything on there. Um, we need to put the back on. Use this piece of Artie Mays, the leaves. And this is her Autumn Splendor, and I've been linking it in my description box. So it should be fairly available. was great. Okay, let's try that again. Where I was at, but it wasn't the right spot, that's for sure. Well, luckily they're all pretty, so it doesn't really matter. Woman of Straw. <gasps> That's what this chapter in the um, book is called. That's funny. Okay, I'll go stitch around those and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's that one. I'll stitch it all the way around with a nice journaling spot on the back. And this one, I think they're kind of cool. That turned out really cool with that on the back. So they will go, and I'm just about ready to stitch in the, or sew in the signature, in one of these pockets. Oh, and I decorated those yesterday, not on camera, but let's do this one. I hope they fit. I was like, I measured them beforehand, but you know, then you add a bunch of fabric and stuff and they might be a little tight, but it looks really cool with that sticking up up there. And then you could put another one, but I think those are going to be a little thick for that. So I'm going to make another one like this for here, and then we'll put, oh, I know. I did this pocket back here too. This is, um, Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts made me this, um, snippet roll, oh my goodness. And, um, so I added a piece of that there. So those can go there. I can put this one somewhere else. So yeah, I just snipped off a piece and um, put it on as a pocket back there. So maybe we could put that one. And I can always do another little spot too. And this. Oh, see, you find little things that you need to fix. Ta-da! Alright, I hope you guys have an awesome evening, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.